Look back of of the same way scales baseball recap. I'm Brian Professor B. Davis for SMC TV Plus Audio Cast. Friday night up in Patterson Sports Complex in Spokane, Washington. The St. Mary's Gales with a big win Friday night up in Spokane. They opened the weekend series in Gonzaga with a bang route in a decisive 12-3 route over the Gonzaga Bulldogs. It was another fantastic start for Gales right-handed pitcher Connor Lynch being the stopper for for the Gales after losing consecutive back-to-back heartbreakers to the San Francisco Dons last weekend in WCC play or both walk-offs to lose a tough series as Blanche went six in the third innings around just a pair of runs, four hits, two walks, and four strikeouts. It was his fourth straight quality start in his fifth of the year, his seventh straight. he gone at least six innings. And leading the way for the Gales, Christian Almanza once hit and had a multi-home run game he his 14th and 15th home run of the season. Also, Gavin Napier, he uh, had a great night. He had stole the base. He would end up uh, he uh, stole the base, even uh, scored a run, and also uh, also in the contest, Nathan Chung had a night. He also hit a home run, and then. He also had a uh, also uh, Armanza later also hit two of the game. All Gales starters offensively had a at least one hit. Chung had his second three hit game of the season while coming off first place Loyola Marymount on April 23rd. His second time he had three RBIs this year, accomplishing that in a, in a round over the UC Davis Aggies back on April 8th. Teeth. And it was Almanza's third game of hitting two home runs this year after hitting two homers in a game against Santa Clara and Pacific as well. The Gales hit four homers a game on the night time, their second highest total of the year. And the Gales are also 8 and 2 in games started by Lynchy. They're 10 and 8 when they have multi home runs in a game. So with the win, the Gales improved their record to 12 and 10. They are now 19 and 21. While the BYU, or I correct you, I should say, while the Gonzaga Bulldogs dropped the 13 and 9, and they're 17 and 26, and I just also just a quick around the scoreboard on Friday, it was the San Diego Toreros defeat the BYU Cougars in Fowler Park by a score of 8 to 4. The, with their win, the Toreros improved to 14 and 9. They're now 21 and 21 in one overall. The Cougars end up dropping the 9 and 14, and they're 18 and 25. And the Gales, with their win, increased their lead back to they now own at 9 and 14. They have a two and a half game lead over the Cougars, with only five conference games left to play. And then also, uh, the Santa Clara Broncos beating the San Francisco Downs at Shot Stadium in their WCC Bay Area rival on Friday night at Shot Stadium in Santa Clara as the Gales, or a correction, as the Broncos defeat the Dons 4-3. to So the Gales, or I should say the Broncos, improved at 11-18, 11-8, I should say, 25-15 and overall as the Broncos are now sitting in fifth place. They remain a game and a half behind the Gonzaga Bulldogs for fourth place. They trail the San Diego Terrells by by two and a half games for third, and they trail at 11 and 8. With the, they trail by at least a game and a half for second place Portland Pilots with only with five conference games left to play, and the Gales right now holds the sixth spot. They have a, they now own a, they have a three and a half game lead over the BYU Cougars for that spot with their big win. And then Pepperdine, who's off, they right now trail by by four and a half games for the. For that seventh and final spot, San Francisco a devastating loss as the Broncos hand the the, the USF Dons. That is their they end up losing for the 21st time 
in their last 27 or their last 28 games. They're seven and 15. Those two teams will hook it up Saturday afternoon at 1 p.m. A Don's loss to the Broncos, coupled with a Gales win, would pretty much all but mathematically eliminate San Francisco for May for from the West Coast Conference race, and then. The Toreros will play the Cougars for the run of match of the big three game series. They'll come up to Morocco next weekend to take on your Gales one o'clock in San Diego. And as a reminder again, the Pepperdine Waves, Royal and Marymount Lions, Portland Pilots, Pacific Tigers all off this weekend enjoying their bye. Game two of the series between the Gales and the the Bulldogs in Spokane, first pitch, 6 p.m. Catch the action on smcgales.com via the WCC Sports Network. And for the latest news of Gales Athletics, so much more, go to smcgales.com. I'm Brian Professor Pete Davis. Thank you for listening. And once again, on Friday night, the Gales with a 12-3 round over the Zagreb Bulldogs. Thank you for listening to the SMC Gales podcast recap on SMC TV Plus 